<laughs> all right here we go we got a little house rough and a inspection all in the same video and mrs monster's homemade ice cream we're rocking spider bits on this thing and i believe it saves me labor just pulling out the plugs but don't hit a nail i'm gonna be honest with you don't hit a nail thing gets twisted like your sister after a 40 hour work week so what we're doing is dropping down into the crawl space below, which I actually plumbed today. This video is from a week ago. It takes me a little longer to edit these bad boys these days because I got a lot going on. What do you want from me? The kids got some work on the books. Whoop. And sometimes that happens with those bits as well. Got to go slow and steady. It's just how she likes it. We're rocking primer and glue. There's two cans there for all you blind guys. Just so happens that it's not purple. And guess what? Even the guys using purple have leaks. I don't really care what any of you say. You can't justify it to me. We got a laundry box and we don't have any minimum measurement from the floor to the trap. What we do have is a standpipe me measurement. I believe it's no more than 30 inches. Don't hold me to it. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section. There you go, a wet vent on the lav on the left hand side. Just a little half bath on that side and we gotta get an inspection so they can start spray foaming and sheet rocking. Just like every other job that I got going on at the moment. Wider slider brackets, suit chief. I tried other ones, they're not as sturdy as these ones. So that's why I rocked the wider sliders. We're ripping out the old cast iron vent. That's a new boot. We're gonna slide up a new two inch PVC line. There she is. And uh... We're making sure that it's 20 to 24 off the roof deck because that's what we got. I did have a leak. I believe I showed the video about a week ago. We didn't add it into this one. Avocado fixtures. When were those even in style? Now we're rocking the, uh, what do we got here? So the roof's already done. We're not adding a boot on this one. We're just going to cut in the, the cozy collar. All right. I plumb bob down. I could have got a laser, but that's just the whole, that's a lot of tools. So Plum Bob fits right in the five gallon bucket of the state sale tools. I cut that a little crooked, but it's because the two by fours below didn't allow my sawzall to do what it wanted to do. We're putting some RTV cream on that sucker, and then we're going to tighten it down to the deck. I didn't bring a torque wrench with me today for 30 PSI of torque, but finger tight is usually the best way. Nah, no, just kidding. I just, I edited it out of the film. I use a six inch adjustable and just tighten it till it squeezes out some ooze on the inside. Slapping up a two inch riser and venting the sucker through the roof. That way I can get a water test on it and let it spill over. Moving on to the next thing. Oh, that's right. I got another one to do. So I got a second one. Back to back labs. We're going right up through the roof behind them. If anybody's curious, this job already passed inspection last week. Um, we're blocking off the dandies in the crawl space, and uh, I do that. Those, this crawl space was haunting me. It's been haunting me since the since I started this job. Anywho, another three inch ball. That's where we're filling from because I can't get to this roof. I had to fill from two different sections because it's two different systems going to back down to the main. This is the kitchen sink. It also picks up the half bath. We're filling that sucker up as well. And uh, yep, you know. I did have a leak, just if I didn't repeat that. We got the overnight oats, kid, while we're filling. There it is, topped off. Beautiful view down the street. I enjoy the comment section when people are trying to place where I am at the exact moment. Now we're slapping the hose on the other stack and going to fill that sucker up. There it is, overflowed the shower basin a little bit. She's pouring off the roof, kid. Job's over. Call the inspector. I use Vegapex for the entire systems these days. It holds a better air test. You don't have to worry about the rings sliding down the pipe. You install it like copper. Everybody's like, Wait here we are with Mrs. Monster Last making the homemade ice cream. I, I usually eat why. a pint of Ben and Jerry's yeah, every it. single night. All Wait right, so not too long ago, I saw something come across my feed. <laughs> me, I eat, I just said that I eat Ben and Jerry's a pint a night. They showed me how much sugar was inside of one pint of Ben and Jerry's. I guess you're not supposed to eat the whole thing, but what are you going to do? It's a Ziploc bag completely filled with sugar inside one pint. At least we know what's going on inside of this one. There's no added sugars. It's just whatever you put in is given. Good evening. That's how you doing? Nothing exciting. No? Just mixing it. Sugar, heavy cream, milk. All your arch enemies. Yep. You making this off of TikTok? I am. Okay, fast mixing. All right. 
for how long? Just till the sugar is like dissolved. Gotcha. <laughs> she got in there. This is the bowl that you freeze. <laughs> and we're gonna add this mixture to. Gotcha. And then it just makes ice cream? Yes. It's like magic. Within 20 minutes, we'll have homemade ice cream. She leaves. There it is. Thank you. 